Well, it's been almost 40 years since the legendary rockers Queen released this timeless hit. And guess what? The band are back together performing all the songs that made them famous. Yes, I had the pleasure of catching up with the guys on stage at their Perth Arena gig over the weekend, uh, Friday afternoon, just before they went on stage, and uh, to see how Adam Lambert is settling in as their new front man. And I've got to tell you, I've heard rev I'd heard reviews yeah. saying that this show was really good, but I wasn't expecting it to be as great as it is. It is such a joyous celebration of their wonderful music, and Adam Lambert is absolutely incredible. incredible. Let's have a little look. No one rocked this quite like Queen. And no one fronted a band like Freddie Mercury. Was there a time when, after Freddie passed, when you thought, yeah, maybe we're never going to get to those dizzy heights again? Absolutely. I mean, that's where we started from. You know, I think both Roger and I thought, no, that's it. And we were comfortable with that. We had a great career. We had a fantastic time. We said, no, it's over now. You know, we don't need to do this anymore. And I think we went through a long kind of grieving process. I uh, went off and did solo stuff, Roger did, you know. And we didn't even want to talk about Queen. Then you gradually come back to the idea that people still want to hear this stuff. So you kind of edge back to a situation of like, well, what if? With 300 million album sales and 18 number one hits, new Queen frontman Adam Lambert has huge shoes to fill. I mean, if the shoe fits, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I, I definitely, I, I brought a lot of shoes to the party. Now, buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes on a bitch of some piece of day. Adam's used to winning millions of votes on American Idol. Now he's winning over Queen fans as he performs on stage, paying tribute to their idol. Some purists might say, well, it's, it's not the same, and he's not Freddie, and those are very true things. I mean, it isn't the same, and I'm not Freddie, you know, and I'm aware of that. And these songs need to be brought to life on stage by the originators, um, and I'm just doing my best to bring it some energy and to pay my respects to Freddie. I get the sense that he'd be pretty happy that the songs were living on. And we don't have any doubt whatsoever that Freddie would love it. You know, he would be a little jealous, I think. Lambert joins original band members drummer Roger Taylor and guitarist Brian May for Queen's first Australian tour in 30 years. You have one of the most distinctive guitar sounds ever. Oh, thank you very much. Um, it must be great for you to wrap your fingers around those those wonderful licks again night after night I'm really enjoying it it's a real privilege to be able to do it at the top level again and I think both Roger and I are playing as well as we've ever played in fact maybe a little bit better because we have a bit more experience and we have this amazing opportunity to do it one more time around the world at the top level and see people's faces full of joy so yeah I'm loving it the gig of your life it's a big honor like I've said I feel very lucky and to get on stage for some members of the audience that might be a bit skeptical and then I, I feel like most of the time we win a lot of people over and that feels like a victory and that feels very, um, it feels like we are the champions, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Queen and Adam Lambert, it was a fantastic show. Still a few tickets around for a few of the shows. If you can get one, grab it. Uh, Ticketex.com.au is the place to go for all of that, and I urge you to.